Hey guys, this is Karan here. I live in Saudi Arabia, studying ninth grade in Yamu International School. Today we'll be talking. In this section, we'll be talking about gravitational potential energy by solving some examples. But if you don't know what gravitational potential energy is, there's a link in the description which you might want to watch the video before you move on to extra examples. So let's get back to our discussion on gravitational potential energy. Now, what is gravitational potential energy? Well, if, for example. If the marker was here and it's not moving as you guys can see but it tends to have some kind of energy well it turns out that it has gravitational potential energy with its uh, energy that is not moving when gra when I leave this marker from height from a certain height when it's going down it has some kind of energy well that energy is what we already learned is called kinetic energy so when the opt when in object is not moving at all it has gravitational potential energy when an object is moving it's known to be poten uh, kinetic energy so let's go ahead and solve some example now here I'll be showing you a picture in which you'll see a weightlifter lifting a barbell okay and that barbell you will notice that it's not moving at all so we need to calculate the gravitational potential energy of the barbell now you'll see a picture in a second and the question says that a weightlifter is lifting a mass of 200 kg up to a height of 2 meters what is the gravitational potential energy of the barbell well the weightlifter is lifting the barbell up to 2 meters in height and the barbell has a mass of 200 kg that's a huge amount of mass to carry so we can say that gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity because it's acting on us times the height so we can say the gravitational potential energy if you combine mass and gravity together you should be getting weight because of what we already know that weight is equal to mass times gravity weight times height this is two examples we can use in our problem here but the most reasonable uh, uh, formula that we always use is the first one I gave you so let's use the first one up here and find the gravitational potential energy of the barbell well we know the mass of the barbell is 200 kg the gravity that is always acting on us on earth is 9.8 that is meter per second squared times height the height that the weight lifts the weight lifter lifts the barbell is 2 meters that gives us this product over here gives us the gravitational potential energy of the barbell so the gravitational potential energy of the barbell when you solve this you should be getting it to be 3920 that is joules now kinetic energy is also calculated in joules and gravitational potential energy is also calculated in joules now moving on to the next example let's go to our next example moving on over to next example is an elevator has combined mass of 300 kg it is stuck at ninth floor which is 80 meters from the ground what is the gravitational potential energy so I know pe my, people might have heard of this problem because elevator gets stuck um, if there's no electricity or something like that but here in this problem let's assume that electricity is out so the, uh, the elevator is being stuck at ninth floor which is 80 meters about from the ground now the combined mass I use the word combined mass because people might be in the elevator otherwise the elevator wouldn't be moving so the combined mass of the elevator is 300 kg so let's find out the gravitational potential energy of the elevator so gravitational potential energy is equal to the mass times gravity times height the gravitational potential energy the mass it tells us 
is 300 kg times the gravity is what we know 9.8 meter per second square times height the height of it is at 9th floor which is 80 meters above the ground so when you calculate this in your calculator you should be getting your answer to be 2.352 times 10 raised to the fifth joule so the elevator who has a mass of this 300 kg and who is stuck at 80 meter of height and is not moving at all has to have gravitational potential energy of this value which is 2.352 at 10 raised to 5th joule now let's go ahead and talk about our third example our third example says the boy named Salik throws the ball up in the air the maximum height of the ball is 2 meter above the ground what is the ball potential energy of the weight if it weighs 2 kg now what happens is um, projectile motion comes apart with this now this kid over here named Salik throws this ball as some kind of force now what happens is we always know that gravity is acting downwards right now when the ball reaches its zero which is its maximum height when no forces are acting on it when no um, force is left for ball to move upwards what happens is gravity is always acting on us so the gravity acts on the ball as well so thus we can say the, gra the ball um, moves in a curved pathway because this is the highest point we can predict that this is the point where the ball has no force acting on it so the, the maximum height it tells us is 2 meters when this kid throws the ball above the ground so when he throws the ball it thro he throws 2 meters above the ground and the, the mass of the ball is uh, 2 kg so how do we find the, the gravitational potential energy of the ball well you got the height above the ground now what happens is we people might con be confused because the ball is moving on every time but at a little bit of second the ball isn't moving at the top of its maximum point it stays there for a second or many seconds and then gravity starts acting on it as usual so we can tell at that many second of that tiny bit of time what is the gravitational potential energy of this ball that Salik is throwing upwards so we can tell that gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height gravitational potential energy is equal to mass which is 2 kg times 9.8 meter per second squared times the height which is 2 meter now the gravitational potential energy is equal to 39.2 joules so the gravitational potential energy of this ball when it reaches to its maximum height is 39.2 joules now this problem which I will be talking about our next problem is the problem which I assume that everyone has heard of because in our houses when we need to paint something we call a painter so that this example relates to the example up here so the example might be up might be up on the screen it says that a painter paints the wall at height of 60 meters from the ground the mass of the painter is 100 kg and what is the potential energy of him standing above the ground that is 60 meters above the ground what is the potential energy of the painter when he stands 60 meters above the ground well we now know that gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height let's in every problem what should you do is this you always make a column of what's given now what's given is the mass which tends is 100 kg the gravity is usual we know is 9.8 meter per second 
and the height which is given which is 60 meters above the ground so there's everything you need to have yes you do so we can calculate the gravity of potential energy so the mass of the the painter is 100 kg times the gravity which is 9.8 meter per second square times the height which is 60 meters gravity of potential energy is equal to the product of these numbers over here. So when you find the product of these numbers, you will find out the gravitational potential energy is 5.88 times 10 raised to the fourth power of joules. So this is the gravitational potential energy when the painter is standing on the ladder, let's assume. So when he's standing on the ladder and painting the walls, that's the poten gravitational potential energy of the painter over there. Now, our last example involves what we learned before, which is kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. How? Well, you're about to see the question. And since this is a challenging question, I would recommend you to, after, see, after you look at the problem, I want you guys to pause the video and solve it by yourself. So when you guys are done, you might resume the video and find out your mistake if you had some problems in finding the answer. So the fifth question says that Galileo drops stone from the leaning tower of Pisa, which is 45 meters high. At what speed the stone hits the ground? So we, are, we need to calculate the speed of the stone that Galileo drops by leaning from Pisa which is this tower okay now since we are calculating the speed we assume that the energy is conserved because uh, no an air resistance is acting on it let's assume that no resistance air resistance is acting on it so we, we know that when he has the stone in his hand it has some kind of energy because it's not moving it's potential energy but when he drops the stone that potential energy turns into kinetic energy. So how do we set our equations up? Well, we set our equation up as gravitational potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. What is formula of gravitational potential energy? Well, this is the formula we just learned, which is mass times gravity times height is equal to the kinetic energy half times mass times velocity squared. Now, by just looking at the equation, we can tell that mass will cancel with the mass because if we divide mass on both sides, mass mass cancels out. So what you're left is with gravity times height is equal to half times v squared. Now, let us write down what's given. We know the height, which is 45 meters about the ground. Now, the gravity is 9.8 times the height which is given is 45 meters times the half times velocity squared now if you find the uh, if you find the product of this number over here you should be getting a value now what you do is multiply 2 on both sides okay now when you multiply this you should be getting your answer to be 900 that is velocity squared so what you need to do is you need to find out the velocity now what you do is velocity is equal to radical 900 so you know when you find the radical 900 you should be getting your speed which is velocity is 30 meter per second and 30 meter per second is the speed of the stone when it's being dropped by Galileo I hope you guys like this video it helped you improve your skills in kinetic energy and po gravitational potential energy like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.